God be the glory.
shall begin reading at Psalms number 91, beginning at verse number 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the old man. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he said, deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwellings. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon a lion and adder, a young lion and a dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm number 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, crowned thee with love and kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Glory to God. So, Father, we bless you, O God, and we praise you and we love you so much. We thank you, Father, for the privilege to serve an almighty God. God, where heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool. God who stepped out when there was nothing. And all you had to do was just say, let it be. And everything you said, let it be, it came into existence. And Father, we thank you right now. And when you got down on you and bowed down and formed man from out of the dust of the earth. And you leaned over and breathed the breath of life into him. And said man became a living soul. And even when man messed up on you and disappointed you, Father, you didn't kick him aside. You, you gave your only begotten son to pay the price for the sins of all mankind. And only he could serve our sentence. And it is he who gives us life, life more abundantly, everlasting life. And Father, we thank you right now. And he defeated death, hell, and the grave. And got up and declared all power in heaven and earth is in his hand. So, Father, we don't take it lightly. We say thank you today. Thank you, Lord, for as you were descending up into the sky, you said I will send you another comforter, one who will abide with you. And, Father, so we thank you for God, the Holy Spirit, who is our comforter, our teacher, our helper, who assists us to live holy for you. And we thank you, Father, for the precious blood of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the blood that never loses its power, for it cleanses us even today. For without the shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sins. 
So, Father, we ask at this time that you forgive us for every sin, Father, that we have committed against you by word, by thought, or by deed, dear God, that you would have mercy upon us, knowing that you are rich in mercy, knowing that your mercies are new every day. Thank you, Lord. We know that it's by your mercies that we've not been consumed because your compassion fell not. Thank you that it's new every day. So we declare great is your faithfulness. You be in our portion, so in you we will hope. Thank you for your goodness and your mercies, following us all the days of our lives. And however our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is, Father, you said that we would be like him with you in eternity forever. So we thank you, Father, for our salvation that is safe and secure in you. Hallelujah. And in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and in God, the Holy Spirit, that no one is able to pluck us from out of your hand. And we holler your name, Elohim. You created us and you crowned us with glory and honor. You're the God of might and strength. We holler your name, El Shaddai. You are the God almighty of blessings. You are the breasted one who nourishes and supplies you. You're all bountiful God and all sufficient God. We holler your name, Adonai, our Lord and Master. You are Jehovah, the complete self-existing one, as always present, revealed in Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We holler your name, Jehovah Jireh, the one who sees all of our needs and provides for us. We holler your name, Jehovah Nisi, our victory and our banner. The banner over is your love. For every time the enemy tries to come upon us like a flood, you lift up a standard against him. And we holler your name, Jehovah Makedis, God who sanctified and set us apart for your service. We holler your name, Jehovah Raphi, for you are the Lord that healed God that make bitter spirits sweet. For you sent your word and forgive us for all of our iniquities. Heal us from every sickness and disease. And we holler your name, Jehovah Shalom, your, your our peace that passes all understanding, keeping our hearts and keeping our minds through Christ Jesus. And we holler your name, Jehovah Rohi, you're our shepherd, and we don't want for any good or beneficial thing. We holler your name, Jehovah Shama, said you never leave us or forsake us. You're always there when we need you, and we can feel confident and be encouraged that we can boldly say that you are our helper and not be ceased with alone. For what can men do unto us with you on our side? We holler your name, El Elyon, for you're the most high God, first cause of everything, possessor of the heavens and of the earth. You are the everlasting God, the living God, the almighty God, the great God, the merciful God. You are true justice, Righteousness and perfection. And hallow your name, Bel Perizan, Yahshua Hamashiach, Yahweh, our strong tower, our mighty battle hacks, our lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon, the holy one from Mount Perrin, Emmanuel, the line of Judah, Melchizedek, I am that I am God, Hosanna, the only wise God, the true and the living God, the shepherd and the bishop of our soul, the living water, the living bread, the living door, the good shepherd, the way, the truth, and the life, the resurrection and the life, the Lamb of God, light of the world, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, Shiloh, ha, glory to your name, the Alpha and Omega. Glory to your name. He that was dead, but is alive forevermore, whose name is holy. So we say glory to your name. We bless you and we praise you and we love you so much. Thank you, Father, for all of your blessings, dear God. Blessing us to lie down another night, dear God. There wasn't promised to us that we wake up this day. But, Father, we thank you, God, 
that you decide to wake us up one more time to a brand new day that we had never seen before. Hallelujah. And you said for all of your children are just supposed to rejoice and just be glad in it, dear God. So we take the time out and say hallelujah. We say glory to your name, dear God. Thank you, Lord. We know that it wasn't the burglar alarm that kept us safe. We know it wasn't the locks on the doors that kept us safe. But Father, we thank you, God, that your ministering angels were standing guard all around your children and everything that you have blessed us with. And Lord, we say thank you right now. Thank you, Father Almighty, for bringing us through every trial and through every tribulation, dear God. Sometimes it didn't feel good. It didn't look good. But God, we thank you that we read in your word, dear God, that everything works together for good for those who love you and those who are called according to your purpose. So we say hallelujah. We say glory to your name. Father, we say we make a joyful noise unto our Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all of your blessings, dear God. Thank you, God, for for all that you're doing right now for us. You're the only one, dear God, that's perfect in all of your ways. You don't make any mistakes, dear God. And Lord, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, Father, for your blessings all over the land. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we lift up, dear God, all the members of the body of Christ, dear God. Father, from the head of the church, dear God. All your under shepherds you placed over your people. Lord, we lift up our pastor right now, Pastor Ephraim Z. McDuffie, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now for blessing him to God. His three children, Charity, Charisma, Sir William to God. His mother, Myra McDuffie, and his brother, Keith. And Lord, his guardian family to God. Blessing their homes to God. The ministry that you've given them, dear God. Order their steps in your word. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over them right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Giving them provision for every vision right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for blessing the next pastor, Pastor Jackson and Leslie Moore. How the sister churches of the palace of praise. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for blessing him and his family. Blessing them, Father, with the provisions for the vision that you've given each one of them, dear God. Order and ask steps in your word. Lord, blessing all your children to be one, dear God, as you, Father, and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and God, the Holy Spirit, is one. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for every gift that you have in the body of Christ. You place all the members in the body of Christ as it pleases you. Blessing every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every pastor, every teacher, every missionary, every bishop, every elder, every deacon and deaconess, dear God. Father, we thank you right now, Father, that it be, Father, for the equipment of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, dear God. Father, that we do all things in your services without murmuring or complaining, dear God. In the name of Jesus, blessing us, dear God, to be with one accord. For we read the story that when the church was on one accord, one Sunday evening, there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind came into the building, dear God. And then they began to speak in other tongues, dear God, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And we thank you right now, dear God, Fill those right now who have not been baptized with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Lord. When they begin to open up their mouth, dear God. Bless them to speak in the heavenly language, dear God. In the name of Jesus. That their language would build them up where they've been torn down, dear God. Give them strength where they've been weakened, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Bless us all to present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. You said that is our reasonable service. And be not conformed unto this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds, dear God. In the name of Jesus. 
And God, we thank you right now. Bless us, dear God. Hallelujah. We think on the things that you have us to think on. Things that are just. Things that are honest. Things that are pure. Things that are lovely. Things that are kind and of good report. In the name of Jesus. That we add to our faith virtue. And to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance. And to temperance kindness and long suffering. And we add to our faith godliness and brotherly kindness and add to our faith love. For in your word, you say that he that loveth not don't even know you, dear God, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, God, that love will go from heart to heart in the name of Jesus. You said men will know that we are disciples by the way we have love for one another, dear God. And let love be without dissemination. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your grace. Now we understand why it's called this amazing grace. Father, you didn't give us what we really deserve. You gave us what we didn't deserve, dear God. And Lord, we say thank you right now. Thank you, God. Grace, dear God, will keep us on, will move us on, dear God. In the name of Jesus, you stay. Thank you, dear God, for you've given to every man the measure of faith. You said in your word, dear God, that faith without works is dead. In the name of Jesus, you said that without faith is impossible to please you. For he that come to you must believe that you is and that you are a reward of them that diligently seek you. And we know, dear God, that if we're not hoping for anything, we're not giving our faith any place to work. So, Father, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, that we keep hope alive, dear God. In the name of Jesus, you say there about it, faith, hope, and love. And right in the middle of faith and love, there's hope, dear God. So, Father, bless your children. Keep hope alive, dear God, so that our faith will have something to work for. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for our salvation. Thank you for saving us, dear God, baptizing us with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we save from the wrath of God that is to come, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. We thank you for the precious blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's that blood that never loses its power. It had to go back and clean up Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the Old Testament prophets, dear God. It's the blood that never loses its power, for it cleanses us even today. In the name of Jesus, for in your words, say, without the shedding of blood, mission it one more time, there'd be no remission of sins. So, Father, we thank you that you see us through the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your joy. You said this joy. That you give us, the world can't give it to us. And the world can't take it away. Realize, dear God, that we have an unspeakable joy. Where the joy of the Lord is our strength, dear God. Time that we feel weak, dear God. And Lord, you said in your word that weeping may endure just for a night. But somehow in your amazing grace, joy shows up in the morning. I never heard it ring the doorbell. I never heard it knock on the door, but joy just shows up in the morning. So, Father, let joy show up in somebody's morning right now. Somebody who have a bereaved heart right now. Lord, let joy show up in the morning, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your peace, dear God. As you stepped up on the dock one day of a ship, your disciple was all frustrated and afraid, dear God. They woke you up and said, do you, do you realize that they're about to perish, dear God? You stepped up on the dock and said, peace, be still. And everything you said, peace, be still. Oh, it, it was a calmness all over the land. And God, we thank you right now that your peace, dear God, the world can't give us peace, but the peace that you give, it passes all understanding. Nobody will understand that, that we have a trial and we have tribulation because, because of your peace that's keeping us, dear God. Peace that blesses us to sleep at night. Peace, a peace that presses us have peace on the job, dear God. 
as we walk down on the street, as we do our shopping and take care of our everyday business, your peace, dear God, that pass all understanding. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Woke up this morning, we had brand new mercies in the name of Jesus. Your mercy is the only one that endured forever. And we know, dear God, we had brand new mercies today. So we thank you right now. Thank you for long suffering with us. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Though sometimes, Father, we say the things we might not need to say. And sometimes we get out of line, dear God. But Lord, we thank you for long suffering right now with us. Thank you, God, that you, we, we can ask for your deliverance, dear God. Deliver us from all our bad habits and bad things we used to say, dear God. We know we haven't forgot them, dear God, but deliver us from them. That we choose not to say things, Father, that would dis disappoint you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Thank you, dear God, that we have an assurance, dear God. Uh, when we leave this world, dear God, while we're here, we live for Jesus Christ. And, and when we have to leave this world, we are gaining and we're not losing. We're going to be with Christ in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, God, for reconciling us back unto you, dear God, by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you said in your word, if there's any a sick among us, you said, call for the elders of the church in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we call on the elders right now all over the land, every elder in the church of God. Oh, let us send the word. Let us send the word right now. We send the word right to every sick room. In the name, every pain, dear God, every suffering. We send your word to every hospital, every convalescent home, every mental institution, every rehab center. Every hospital center, those who are shuttered in the home, we send your word right now. Let the word become flesh right now in the name of Jesus. Let your healing power get all up in their body, dear God, from the top of their head all the way down to the soles of their feet. Let your healing power, God, hallelujah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Confuse the doctors and the nurses, dear God. Some have walked out the room and turned, put by their head and said they can't do no more. But let them know with man things are impossible. But with you, everything is possible, dear God. On our family, dear God, in the name of Jesus, my son, dear dear God, Lord, let your healing power, let the word become flesh, dear God, in his life, in the name of Jesus. And Kay Guillory's daughter, my niece, my great niece, let that healing power, dear God, move out anything that you have not planted right now, in the name of Jesus, dear God. And all the members of the body of Christ, you said healing is the children's bread, dear God. Lord, serve the table right now. Pass the healing bread right now. Pass it all before them right now, God. Let them eat right now. Let them eat, dear God. Let them eat that healing bread right now. In the name of Jesus, let the doctors and the nurse be the servants also. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we cry out right now. We cry out like Barnabas, dear God. In the name of Jesus, if somebody is saying you're crying out too loud, cry out even more right now. God, we need you right now. You said you stood still when Barnabas called you. In the name of Jesus, now your blood washed, blood both children are crying out to you right now, dear God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, would you heal right now? According to your perfect will for every life, Sister Jackie Crones, dear God. Brother Rob Rogers right now. Mother Myra McDuffie's brother right now. In the name of Jesus, let your healing power move in. Where the doctors have moved out. Where the doctors are confused right now. All in our family, every member of our family, dear God. 
In the name of Jesus, healing power, Holy Ghost power, moving in right now, God. Let your healing power in the name of Jesus, all in the church of God, dear Lord, in the name of you said, dear God, that the power of a, the, fervent, the effective fervent power of a righteous man, you said avail it much. And we know we are only righteous in Christ Jesus, not on our own, dear God, but we're crying out to you right now, God. Let, let, let there be testimonies, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. We thank you right now that you know respect of persons. Lord, as you heal so many in the Bible to God. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you spoke and the dead got up and walked again. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power, you said you the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we we're looking for miracles right now. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you right now. We, we shout with the voice of triumph right now that somebody, hallelujah, going to have a testimony, dear God. Hallelujah. Because we overcome us by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Move, Lord. Move right now over this internet. In the name, over Facebook, wherever it is on right now. Any TV station, dear God. Any radio. Somebody on the corner ministering your word. Marketplaces right now. In the neighborhood. Father, you said as your word goes out, it won't come back to you, Lord. It will accomplish what you sent it out to do. That it would prosper in that thing you sent it to prosper in. Lord, let that word become flesh right now. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Bless, dear God. What would you bless now, Father? Lord, you said you watch over your word to perform it. And you have exalted your word even above all your name. You said before your word fell. Heaven and earth would pass away. So we're giving you back your word, dear God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we believe the word work. So we will work the word right now, in the name of Jesus. Every gift, dear God, in the body of Christ, Lord, let it manifest under the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now that every gift right now, Lord, will come out, dear God. Lord, will speak out right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because they're the only one that make us rich and add no sorrow with it. And that's the ones our heart desire, dear God. In the name of Jesus, bless us all to have the mind of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and hold the thoughts and purpose of his heart. Father, that we grow in your grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we bring forth fruit and that our fruit will remain in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now, Father. We thank you right now. Thank you for blessing us with favor from you. And favor with you. Thank you for your blessings. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you God. We thank you right now. We come back dear God. As one of the nine lepers did. When he was. Found out he was healed dear God. One of the ten lepers. And he came back. He was already healed. But when he came back and said thank you. Lord hallelujah. You said that he was made whole. So, Father, give all my brothers and sisters a special blessing. All those who can say thank you, dear God. Everyone, dear God, who appreciates your blessings, who can say thank you, Jesus. Know we didn't come this far on our own. Know that you brought us from a mighty long ways. Know that we never could have made it on our own if it had not been for you on our side. So, Father, we say thank you right now, dear God. In the name of Jesus. And we say glory to your name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for we say your words to someone who's trying to commit suicide. 
Lord, let them know, dear God. Let them come from out of that darkness to your marvelous light right now. We come to that pastor who's getting ready to give up on the ministry. Lord, that you will strengthen him right now. In the name of Jesus, let him know that it's not his ministry, but that it, all the church belongs to him, dear God. And he's just a vessel that's used, chosen vessel that's used by you. Let him not be weary and well done. Let him not quit. Let him not give up. Let him know that due season is closer than they think. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. And we say in your word, dear God, that if two or more come together in your name, touching and agree on anything, Father, you promised that you'd be in the midst. And you say, whatever we bind down here on earth, you promised to back us up that you would bind it in heaven. And you say, whatever we loose down here on earth, you said you'd back us up, that you'd loose it in heaven. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind every demonic force. Every ruler of darkness, every spiritual weakness in high places. We break the power of your assignments against any ministry in the church, against our family, our children, and our plans, dear God. Render them the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. And we loose the Holy Spirit in his gift. We loose your miracle work and power, dear God. The power of the Holy Ghost right now. Holy Ghost power in the name of Jesus. Let the smoke fill the temples in the name of Jesus. Let us all journey in with the four and twenty elders all around the throne. And everybody is crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Lord, touch right now. Touch right now, Father. Everyone who's watching right now, dear God. And those who forgot to watch or didn't want to watch. But God, let them know you still almighty God. In the name of Jesus, look beyond their faults and see their greatest need right now. In the name of Jesus, open up a door that no man can close. Close a door that no man can open. In the name of Jesus. For Father, we thank you right now, dear God. For you are the way maker, the miracle worker the promise keeper, the light in the darkness, in the name of Jesus. Bless every marriage, dear God, and every family, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Place the family in order, dear God. Man being the head of his house, the woman has helped me. Children obedient to their, cho to their parents, in the name of Jesus. And the parents not provoke their children into anger, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now, dear God. We say glory to your name, dear God. We thank you, God. We know there's power right now, over right now, this, this Facebook right now, in the name of Jesus. As you say, we have just two or three would come together in your name, dear God. You promise that you be in the midst. So Holy Spirit, we just say, have your way. Have your own way right now. Have your way, dear God. Sanctify and purify our homes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Sanctify and purify everything within our homes. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over everything you blessed us with and will bless us with. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Thank you for this noonday prayer, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your manifold blessings. Our oh, Father, and we thank you right now, God. We believe you, dear God. You said all things are possible. All we got to do is just believe it. So, Father, we believe, dear God, in your will. We believe in your way, dear God. We believe right now in you working things together for good for us, for those who love you and those who are called according to your purpose. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you and we give you all the praises and we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor in the name that is above every name that's a name and anything that will have a name in the future. God, I thank you, God. 
Hallelujah. I thank you for my family, my relatives in that name. Each and every one, Father. Every one, every one till God. Every, all my sisters, all my in-laws, all my nieces, nephews, cousins. Hallelujah. On both sides of my wife and our family, dear God. Hallelujah. All of our relatives, dear God. Blessing every man and every woman, every boy and every girl to the furthest corner of the earth. Spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, and any other way, dear God, that we don't know how you bless. God, we thank you right now, Lord. Thank you, dear God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the sweetest name that I know. Ha! Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So God, right now, thank you for letting your little bitty servant. Hallelujah. Minister in prayer one more time to your God. Thank you, dear God. Right now, Father. And I say this is Billy Free. I say I love everyone. My big sister, Martha, my wife, Mary, my big sister, Martha, my son, Derek, I and all the family and all my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I say praise, praise God for you. May God's riches and best be yours. Right now, I say have a blessed day. Ha. In the name of Jesus. I'm out.